Preposition in, on, at. Let's get the bus. Let's get on the bus. If you can walk onto the vehicle and stand up on your feet, we use on. Get on a train. Get on a subway. Get on a plane. Get on a ship. Get on the bus. If you can't walk, we use in. Get in a car. Get in a taxi. Get in a truck. Get in the car. Get in the car. I arrived. The airport. I arrived at the airport. We use at when we're talking about specific places. At the bank. At the restaurant. We use on to talk about surfaces. On the table, on the carpet, on the floor. A photo is on the wall. We use in for an enclosed space and countries, cities. In the box, in the garden, in New York. I arrived in Canada. You showed up at the restaurant? <laughs> I'm at the beach. Both are possible. At the beach means around the area, not a specific spot on the sand. We enjoyed the view at the beach. She's not here. She's at the beach! On the beach is more specific. It means you are physically on the sand of the beach. The kids are playing on the beach. I rode on the beach. Where are you? I'm at the beach. Where are you? I don't see you. I'm on the beach. My birthday is February. My birthday is in February. When we use in, we're talking about long periods, like months or years. In March. In the summer. In 2023. We use on for specific days or dates. On December 15th. On Friday. On his birthday. My birthday is on the 15th of March. At is used for specific points in time. At 7 p.m. At noon. I'll see you at the party at 7 o'clock. Sheldon, do you really want to argue with me on my birthday? Jimmy is always late for work. He's never on time. Jimmy is always late for work. He's never on time. On time means at the correct or agreed time. If you say he's always on time, it means he always arrives at the correct time. He is not late. Please arrive on time. Yeah, I'm gonna depart. On time. In time means early enough for something. I got home just in time. It's starting to rain. Finish your homework in time for dinner. It'll get better in time. I found an interesting article on the internet. I found an interesting article on the internet. We use on with electronic material. You learn English on YouTube. I saw that news on TV. I saw it on Facebook. Are you on Instagram? I saw it on Netflix. Maybe you shouldn't have posted about it on the internet. We use in with written material. I read it in a magazine. I read it in a book. I read it in a report. I read that story in the book on page 57. 
What's in the book? Why is she still bed? She doesn't feel well. Why is she still in bed? She doesn't feel well. I am in bed generally means that you are lying under the blanket for the purpose of sleeping. She's still in bed then. We use on the bed when referring to something or someone physically on the surface of the bed. For example, the book is on the bed. I am sitting on the bed reading a book. Night. Rebecca, I put your outfit on your bed. Where's Jessica? She's at school right now. Where's Jessica? She's at school right now. At school means the person is physically inside the school. My daughter is at school right now. Kids are at school? If you're talking about someone who is a student, we say he's in school. He's in elementary school. He's in middle school. He's in high school. He's in college. I'm a student. I'm still in school. I go at night. I go hiking every Sunday. I go hiking every Sunday. We need no preposition. Before the words, every, next, last, and this. I'll see you next Monday in Tunisia. Have you been Paris? Have you been in Paris? She lives in Paris. The correct answer is, have you been to Paris? When we use the verb go, we always use to. Go to, went to, have been to. I'm going to Canada. I went to the gym. I have been to London. Have you been to London? Fill in the blanks with the same preposition. She winked. Me. She's mad. You. She winked at me. She's mad at you. The baby smiles at the funny face I make. My father smiled at me and I smiled at him. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.